We've been tagged in a VR by who? Generation Pixel, AKA Stuart. <laughs> Thanks, Stuart. I'm Scott. I'm Jen. We're Retro Rivals, and we have 10 questions. All right, first of all, this has been sprung on me. I have no real answers for these 10 <laughs> questions. So I'm just going to wing it. So the first one I had seen was Dad and Lad's Gaming, and they had put out their VR to Gordy Slasher Gaming, and then somehow along the line, somebody tagged Generation Pixel, and then he tagged everybody he knew. Oh. Basically. I think he had like eight or so nine we're pretty tags. important? We're fairly important. We were first, though. Oh, awesome. We okay. were first, so I'm just saying. All right, first question. Can you read this or do you need me to read it? <laughs> I can because read it. They're quite large. It's, she <laughs> printed off 10 questions on five pieces of paper. <laughs> no, and not like pause, like landscape. So, first question. What type of games do you like to play? And you so, can't say all of them. Yeah, I know. My comfort game right now are RPGs. Oh. So, you guys know because you can just kind of sit there and get into a story. It's not tense until really like some of the big boss battles. Yeah. Or, you yeah. know, they can get tense, but you get really involved in the story and the characters and stuff like that. And it usually, is, you know, you drag it out for like 60, 70 hours, and it's your comfort food. It is. Yeah. It is. I. I go back and forth on this answer because I have had time to think about this and a big part of me wants to say survival horror but I am getting more I think if people were to answer these questions for you that's <laughs> something for people to do in the comment section maybe what you think we're gonna say versus what we actually say I think you probably had the same response for my first answer yeah but I've been getting a lot more out of Metroidvanias lately you know what you did you just got yourself sick and tired of I think survival I did. horror I think you, I did but it can't, I'm getting so frustrated with just these walking sims over and over again. I notice for myself, I need, if I'm gonna play survival horror, okay, well, it needs to have a good story or some sort of story. Take the cream of the crop, the best survival horror games, oh my versus God. the cream of the crop, best Metroidvania, which one would you play? That's, I don't even want to. Uh, uh, Jen doesn't have an Pass. Answer. Pass. Pass. BS. How much time on average do you spend playing video games? A week, a day, a month, a year, I would say lifetime. I'm thinking a week. That's what most people tend okay. to go with. I have my answer. Okay. Between probably 10 and 15 hours on average. And then mine is more than Scott. Because I, I typically, typically I probably play somewhere a little over 15 hours. It really just depends on the week but I tend to saturate myself all into the weekend and then sometimes I'll play like an hour and a half, two hours, three times through the week. Close to that? Yeah. But I think I might be a little bit more than you. It probably but Yeah. Not by much. Not by much. Do you think video games can be educational? No. <laughs> you, want, you want to explain yourself? Other than, other than the fact that it, uh, like, if you get into a game like an RPG where there's a lot of dialogue and a lot of reading, I don't see where the games in this room are educational. Please point it out to me. I don't think games are educational in the conventional sense. And I think a lot of people tried to go that route or tried to like... I'm not gonna reach twist on Twist it this. that like, way and reach. Oh, it's art, it's this, it's that, no. it's everything. Then, then I would get into like saying that, uh, yeah, well, movies and TV shows and some no, songs. No, I think it's games can be more educational as far as like skills wise, not maybe not, you know, like you're getting some sort of information from it. Maybe sometimes you do, maybe sometimes, you're but I'm thinking, maybe. just give me an answer. I'm thinking like patience. Like if you're playing a patience, tough game. Patience, that's not can, educational. It, well, it's a type of education. It's I a type of learning. I, you need to learn patience. I never took patience since <laughs> high school at all. That's probably why I'm, why are you hitting me? You need, <laughs> You need to play some more patient games then. <laughs> Puzzle games? You need to learn strategy? And like... I never took strategy in school either, did you? I'm sure it would be a component in math. Okay, sure. So I think... I, 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 I was terrible in school, and if video games were educational, I would not be playing them. <laughs> <laughs> you know? 
Okay, whatever he said then. You're just gonna fight this entire time. You play more patient games. Okay. What don't you like about video games? I, don't, I can't think of anything I don't like. What well, about microtransactions? I don't consider that part of video games. I think that's part of the industry itself right okay. now. There's a bunch of BS made so by maybe... corporate people sitting behind desks and that mm, ruining games for people. Yeah, so I mean, I think that could be part of it. The right? industry sometimes but ruins As far video as the games. games go themselves, like, like, if it's not a game that oh, appeals to you, long, you don't long play times. it. I don't care. Like, oh, shitty graphics. Well, like, I don't care. Like, if the <laughs> game's worth it, like, I've grown up through all of it already. And every generation has its own thing that I enjoy. <laughs> like, if I wouldn't be playing them if there was things yeah. that drove me crazy about it. Yeah. You know? I don't like when Scott and Dennis won't play games with me because they just want to play baseball. Because it's awesome. It is. I don't You're not. I don't think I get to play games with you guys this Sunday. I think you've already decided I'm painting. You guys are playing baseball. You've got to make a painting for uh, charity. So. Yes, I do. How much do you spend on video games? As much as the wife will let me. <laughs> like, I'm not also spending money on video games. Yeah. Uh, it's an addiction at this household. All the bills are paid first. Everything's done. Yeah. Um, I don't have any th amount of money set aside, like weekly that I have to like, no. I don't know if you guys are looking for an exact amount but we I spend a, all my fun money goes to probably playing video games like other than going to the movies here a couple nights ago oh yeah and we... buying a $37 bag of popcorn <laughs> I just I would rather spend that I would rather not eat popcorn and buy a game that I can play yeah. for freaking 30 hours so I guess what you guys should know about us is that we don't really go out to restaurants. It's not mm, something we not might often. order the odd pizza, but I yeah. can't remember we'll, the last time I, I got would, takeout. I would prefer to get a U-Bake at the grocery store. Exactly. Cook it at home, it's a fraction of the price. So all our discretionary fun basically goes towards video games. Like you said. We, I know it sounds paid. weird, but you know, like I make my this own beer, like so that's cheap. Yeah. Um, I, I don't smoke, we don't yeah. go out. like. We're, quite, we're, we're boring. Yeah, we're kind of boring. <laughs> but our house is kind of a hot spot for like people to come over and hang yeah. out. So we get all our experiences, I guess, just yep. having people over here. So, Dennis, Dennis, you fell in the garbage. You're I'm garbage. I'm home. What's your favorite video game console? That has changed over the years, but recently, right now, it's PS1. I would probably still say PS4. Um, shocker. Uh, PS5 is not doing nothing special enough. Yeah. And so like, what's the reason other than it's playing newer games on PS5 that I probably can. No, no, no. What's PS4? the reason why PS4 is your favorite console? It had so many great indie games, and it felt like it was the console that got me back into gaming. I think it's the console that got you into gaming. Yeah. Because you played games but you weren't a gamer yes then, that's right? true that that's true i had pockets of like i was obsessed with games you would get obsessed with a game yeah. until you were done with it and then you were done with it and for a while and exactly then back exactly into another one, right yeah i was like hyper fixate and then be done yeah. and then hyper fixate so do you know why i would lean towards ps oh it's the rpg machine yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like i really basically missed out on ps1 when i was younger when i was that age oh. when it came out I was at that age, perfect age of like, you need to go out and start working and be a man yeah. and this and that. And, and I got my first PS1 basically a couple months before I got my PS2. Yeah. And I'd only had like a couple games. Exactly. So, yeah. So I, my, my collection, I basically acquired it through the last three or four years. Yeah, probably. What's your favorite video game movie? Um, I know everybody wants to say The Wizard, but mine, I think, would be Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat? Yeah. I really, really enjoyed the Mario one. Um, although Mario I. Mario movie? Like the animated one? Yeah. Or I liked like it. the. No, the animated the one. The other one from no, like. The, the brand did new. Did you ever see the I, first Mario movie? I have, but so long ago, I can't oh, remember it, and I want to keep that in the past. Did we miss one? I missed one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, rewind. <laughs> What's your favorite video game? I just skipped that because I didn't want to answer it. Because I think I don't want to answer it. Good luck. Uh, it, for me, it's kind of easy because I've said so many times there's going to be Parasite Eve. Yeah. It's got a lot of nostalgia. It's got really 
fond memories that I'll never forget, like me and you. When yeah. I remember sitting in that dungy old apartment on yeah. that crappy old secondhand couch. Yeah. And uh, playing that right around Halloween-ish. I know. I know. It was yeah. very cool. Yeah. It's so hard, guys, because I keep going, Last of Us, Resident Evil 4. The Last of Us, Resident Evil 4. And uh, so those two. Next question. Wrong answers only from <laughs> Jen. Here you go. Who's your favorite video game character? I still don't have one. <laughs> you don't have one? What would it be? The... Any character in a video game. I don't know. I don't know either. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't. Joel's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh! Deacon St. James? Deacon St. John. Deacon St. John? Wrong in answers only from Jen. No, in Days Gone! In Days Gone! Because it was like kind of a Walking Dead meets uh, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. And it seemed like he could actually live in that world. You know what I mean? Like he could survive that world. So. I don't have one. I really don't. don't really, really I don't, have, don't have a favorite video game character. Yeah, I, it would be reaching for me to like really. Oh, Alice. Although, is she a video game character? Not really. But. Yeah. Wrong answers only, I guess. From Jen. Just, and the last question. What's your least favorite type of game? Survival horror. Shmups! Survival what now? Horror. Seriously? Yeah. F no interest you? to play them anymore. You're going to be served with papers. Yeah. Um, I don't the like best shmups. Best supper I've had in a while. <laughs> no? I don't like shmups. I don't like to have... I play a shmup over a survival horror. I don't know. I just... They've, they don't scare me, and like I have a hard time getting into the story and stuff there. I don't know what it is. I really don't. That's the thing that I've fallen off, fallen off the the most over the last few years. Like I've played some. I know. The my probably the best horror game I've played in in a while has been uh, Resident Evil uh, Biohazard. Yeah. Because it was scary. It made me jump. And, like, I Other just, than that. I just don't like shmups. I'm not good at them. Oh, I'm not good at them. I either. just, I, I can't make myself want to play them. It feels like the same thing over and over again. Avoid the bullets, avoid the bullets, avoid the bullets, avoid the bullets. And I'm like, you got, you, there's now like you know how to play. 8,000 bullets on the screen, I can't avoid the bullets. So I don't want to play it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That was 10 questions that didn't Only really tell answers. you anything because I just gave wrong answers. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Until next time, game on. Oh well. That was a shoot 'em up right there. Oh!